Hey everyone, welcome back to Lavender. This week we are doing another get your life together challenge and we are focusing on work and productivity. So what I'm going to do is take you along with me on my typical work week and I'm just going to try to squeeze in as many productivity tips and hacks as I can and share them with you along the way. So the first day I decided to tackle all the things that I've been putting off on my to-do list. So usually when I have a to-do list, I knock out the most important or the most urgent things first and there are certain items that fall to the bottom of that list and I just put it off till the next day and the next day and the next day until I cannot put it off any longer and so sometimes I just need like a catch-up day to work on all those little things that I need to get done so for example a lot of it was answering emails or doing interviews things that I've been putting off and just like lagging on later on I decided to put on a podcast while I was showering just so I could listen to something and absorb some information while doing something else some people call it multitasking Tony Robbins calls it net time which stands for no extra time I've talked about that before I don't usually encourage multitasking because I believe in focusing on one thing at a time but when it's something like showering or driving or putting on makeup I do like to listen to like a book or a podcast so the podcast episode I listened to was on time chunking and after listening to that I was actually inspired to time chunk my week and use that productivity tip to just block out and plan out my entire week so that I could be as productive as possible basically time chunking just means you're allotting a certain time frame for a given task or project and so you're more likely to finish your task within that given time frame versus if you kind of let the time frame be in it kind of like oh I'll give myself however long it takes to finish this task like if you give yourself like two hours to finish the task and you block out your time like that then it'll encourage you to be more on time and productive with things so today I'm gonna shoot a video this is kind of meta I forgot that I have to vlog as I'm working this week so earlier I was just getting ready listening to a Gary Vaynerchuk like YouTube interview unboxing right now. This I'm excited about. It is work related. So it's just supposed to be a portable camera that has like a gimbal and I'm so excited to use it because I can take this with me to vlog and you can get some really nice shots with this tiny thing. It's like a drone camera on a handheld thing. Later in the evening, I made some curry for dinner and I made sure to make extra so that I could save some for the following day, just like my mini meal prep. So yesterday I posted an Instagram story asking you guys for your productivity tips since I wanted to see if there was anything new that I should try. So thank you so much for sending so many suggestions. There's so many good ones. So the ones that are popping out to me are cut your phone, turn off social media and internet, do the Pomodoro technique, set timers, which is like setting like a 25 minute timer. And I've used the Forest app before, which you guys suggested as well. There were also contrasting beliefs. For example, Kimberly Wenya said, do the activities that feel good first, contrary to popular belief, because you want to raise your vibe to raise your productivity. And then other people say that it's better to do the things that you don't want to do first, so you get it out of the way. Let me know what you guys prefer and what works for you down below. Focus on one thing at a time. I'm totally all for that. Another good one is just start doing your work for like 10 to 20 minutes and then eventually you'll catch a flow and feel like doing it even more. So I actually spent that entire day decluttering and shooting my whole KonMari tidying journey through my clothes, makeup, and skincare, which hopefully you watched from the video from last week. So after a whole day of shooting and decluttering, I made some curry noodles for myself for dinner just from the curry that I prepped the day before. The next day is a good example of something that I do called batching. So if you notice, I batch specific tasks on certain days so certain days I reserve only for like shooting certain days are for like answering emails Thursdays I usually batch out for meetings and communications all right so I just finished two Skype meetings with my team and now I'm gonna jump on to a podcast 
podcast. I'm going to go on the Woke and Wired podcast today, so I'm about to talk to Ksenia, who's the host of that show right now. So it's later on in the day, and now I am doing a little bit of accounting, just categorizing expenses, because it is end of the month, end of the year, and I've just put off this for so long. I haven't like organized my stuff for the past three months. So I'm going to set a Pomodoro timer. This is Forest for 25 minutes and just like get to work. At this point, I decided to put on a podcast because the work I'm doing is kind of tedious. So I'm done working now and I'm gonna go out, do a workout class, brave the cold, try to be productive. Let's go. FYI, I am moving out of this apartment end of January. So the thing I'm gonna miss most is being able to walk to work out to all these studios so close to me. All right, that was my week focusing on work and productivity. It was kind of cut short because of the holidays. The next day I actually went to pick up my brother and just spent a lot of time with family after that. Anyway, just a heads up that next week is the last video in the Get Your Life Together challenge. It's been an amazing ride and I'm happy to share this journey of me actually trying to change my life and get it together with you guys. Let me know if you have suggestions for other series that you wanna see. Leave them down in the comments below and I'll read them and plan any future series that way. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Love you all so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.